What is up guys, Apathy back in the building with another video today and what you're going to be watching is how to control the OSA recoil. Now the OSA is probably the best gun in the game right now and the biggest problem, the only really problem it has is it doesn't have the range as other guns do and it recoils pretty bad at times but that's why I'm here and that's why I'm going to be showing you guys and telling you guys today how to control, control it a little better and give you guys a better shot with it and another thing is like people have been asking me in my videos like app how do you control the recoil apathy make a video on how to control the recoil so that's why I'm here today you know telling you guys how to control the recoil and I'm kind of bullshitting because I don't think anyone really asked me that maybe one or two people did but I'm here because I have to be here. No, I'm kidding. I'm here because I love giving you guys tips and trying to inform you guys on, you know, how to improve and stuff like that. So I'm going to try my best to do that today. So first thing with the OSA, well, before I get into it, a lot of you guys know the OSA was really, really... He just he just hit marking me. Well, I'm pretty lucky, man. The OSA was a little better and they nerfed... They, they, they gave it more recoil just because of how powerful and how good it was. So... Now with this OSA, the, the biggest problem, it has a little bit more recoil and a little bit more of a kick to it. And the biggest thing I could first tell you is please you try to use for your reticle or your, your lens or whatever you want to call it, your optical. Try to use... Oh, that's how you control it, baby. Try to use something like a dot. Now there's there's the three dots, which you see there's two dots that are... Uh, there's one dot in the middle and there's one to the left, one to the right. But the middle one's obviously the, the center one, the one you aim with. And there's one that's just called a blue dot, which is just solely a, a, a one blue dot. And that one is cool and all, but the reason I don't use it is because it's not unlocked in private matches. And by private matches, I mean it's not unlocked in like tur events and tournaments and stuff. So I don't want to practice with something I won't be using. So I always recommend, and I tell everyone, use something small like this. There's the dots, there's the, pre pre I believe it's called precision, which is a dot with some extra stuff. Like, it doesn't matter if it has like a little bit extra stuff around it. Try to use some sort of like dot kind of looking thing. Make it easily easier for you to like aim in a, in a sense. Just, oh what? I thought I had to rewind. Oops. Make it like it's easier for you to aim. Just because how this gun works, it's going to kick hard. It's going to kick hard a lot of times. A lot of the times, actually. And when it kicks hard like that, it's easier for you to kind of like see see the enemy. And you can just kind of like control it easier. I, it's a little... It's. Uh, I mean, I'm, I know I'm not making too much sense. But I'm pretty sure you guys get what I'm saying. So try to use a dot of some sort or something like that. Now the next big thing is aim for the balls, and I mean literally aim for the balls. Okay, I don't mean literally, literally, but you know, pretty much aim for the balls when you're shooting uh, someone, or like aim for, basically aim for the body. Don't you see how I'm aiming for like his his mid body? You don't necessarily ever want to aim higher than his body because the thing of the gun, it it kicks, it kicks hard, and as you're shooting him in the stomach, it's gonna kick up a little bit. So you want to make sure. You know you're hitting those shots and the biggest way to hit those shots is aiming for the center aim for the balls try to aim around that area aim low don't aim don't aim chest or higher try to try to prevent try to not to do that at all that's something you don't oh my god the kid just got fucking push it back but that's a really big tip as well always try to aim is that yeah it's an enemy always try to aim for like the balls the middle you know, aim for that area, especially you see how like those long range shots, you're not going to be hit. You're not going to be able to hit those long range shots a lot of the times if you don't aim uh, for like the midsection. If you aim for the midsection, your shots are going to hit more and you're going to hit these really like crazy long range shots. And it's going to you're going to notice how how much better your shot is. So you see how I hit that shot right there. That's all all I did right there to hit that pretty crazy shot. It was a pretty long range shot. And I always say usually a lot of people can hit a shot like that. But all I did with it right there was this obviously control the recoil and the way I did that was just aiming kind of for like the midsection and like every time you shoot another thing is every time you shoot you kind of got to like dr like lower the gun so as you're shooting you want to kind of lower it a little bit to sort of control it and keep it in the center. It's a, it's a little complicated I know it sounds a little weird but the more you play the game the more you play with OSA. The more you just grind with this gun and shoot it, the more you're going to see like, oh, okay, this is how you shoot it. This is how you control the recoil. And it's going to start clicking in your head. And you're going to notice it's a lot easier than it looks. Or it's yeah, it's a lot more simple than it looks. It just takes time to get something used to. Something something like a recoil that it's it has a really bad kick to it. It takes time to get used to something like that. But the more you play with it, like I said, the more easier it's going to get. So those are like the three biggest tips I could give you guys when it's the controlling the recoil. Oh, Gunson, that kid that got pieced. It's just one, try to use something small like a dot. 
some sort of like dot type of thing don't try to use the square the bigger the bigger ones try to get try to stay away from the big reticles and just use like a dot or some sort of thing like that another thing is aim for the midsection sort of like the balls area or just like the stomach around that area is kind of what you want to aim for especially if the gun decides to kick really bad or kick out of nowhere and especially especially for long range gunfights it's going to benefit you more and you're going to hit your shots just because of the how you're aiming you see it every time if you guys are noticing every time i shoot someone i'm usually shooting his stomach or like almost to his chest area like it's it's always around that area and that's just because i'm aiming like that and the third thing as you're shooting always try to you know keep you it's gonna kick it's gonna start kicking and what you gotta do is trying to lower it and like kind of just you try your best to control the recoil sort of thing you want to lower it a little bit lower as you're shooting and like kind of just keep it in the center don't let it get too out of control and those are like the three biggest tips when it's to control the recoil and hopefully this video helps you out hope you guys enjoy the gameplay and you know maybe give you a better osa shot and you guys just straight dominate it's gonna take a little bit of time getting used to like i said but those are really good tips i can give you guys and your osa shot will be up in no time and hopefully they get rid of the gun because i think the gun is pretty unfair and needs to go but for now i'm helping what would i can don't forget to like comment subscribe apathy